Okay, welcome back, and in this video I'm going to show you all the settings in my DX7 uh, for the um, FT uh, flyer um, from flight tests, swappable aircraft. And uh, even though the DX7 is out of date, it's still a really good transmitter. And the programming for the DX6, uh, 7, and the new DX8 version, Generation 2, and the DX9 and DX18 are all just about the same. There's only minor variations. Um, but so I'm going to do this on the DX7 because that's where this one's being um, set for. So as you can see, the first thing is I've got the um, throttle trim all the way to minus 100. That's important. And all the other uh, trims, uh, rudder, uh, elevator and uh, ailerons are all set to zero but you want this to be all the way down to negative 100 so that the um, ESC will arm and uh, you'll start with zero power <clears throat> okay so I'm first gonna go into the um, system settings okay and yes I do want to do that okay so we don't need a model select. The uh, model type is obviously the aircraft. Um, the model name is FT Flyer number three. Okay. The aircraft type is normal, normal. Okay. What that means is normal wing means there's one servo for the uh, uh, wing, which is none. <laughs> okay. And so it doesn't matter what that is because uh, there is no servo for the wing and the tail is one servo for the um, uh, One servo for the rudder and one servo for the elevator for three channel airplane. That's how I like obviously to set it up. It's the best way Okay, there. I'm not even sure if there is another way to set it up. All right, so that's the aircraft type normal normal and the flight mode setup, I use the switch B in the upper left corner of the transmitter to give me my low, medium, and high rates. So that gives me three um, modes. And if I go to the spoken flight mode, because this thing, I love it when it speaks to me. Notice it says low rates, mid rates, high rates. Okay. Back to low rates, so that's what it's going to speak when I use it. Okay, channel assignment. <clears throat> the throttle, aileron, elevator, and rudder are obviously all being used, and I'll explain why rudder is being used. Even though the two servos are in the aileron and elevator channel, the rudder is being mixed to the aileron. I'll show you that too. Uh, so the gear aux one and aux two um, are not being used. I'm going to use aux two. If you have a DX6 radio, you can use aux one just as easily. And I'm going to use that for assigning it to the switch F, which will be the throttle cut switch. Okay. You can do the same thing with the aux one um, channel if you have a six channel radio. <clears throat> and what you do is in the warnings you set up down like here either aux one or aux two here um, you give it a warning if it's over 10 percent what that means is if that switch is not in the um, throttle cut position switch f uh, because f is assigned to the aux channel um, then it'll give you a warning hey wait a minute stop this isn't right and uh, that way you're always sure when you turn on your radio for this aircraft and this aircraft only that the um, throttle cut is on which should always be the case uh, before you arm a uh, a um, electric aircraft okay so we'll, that's the warning there is no telemetry there is no pre-flight setup needed the frame rate is just fine we don't need to bind it. We're not using it as a trainer. Uh, don't need digital switch setups. Center tone is just fine. 
sound utilities we don't need and system settings are not really needed and we're not going to transfer to an SD card right now. So I'm going to hit the back button and um, tell you what, let me let me um, back up a minute. I'm going to go back into the system setup and I'm going to go up here to the switch F and turn it to position zero. Then I'm going to back out. Warning servo over 10 percent normal mode. Okay, and that's going to sit there like that until I turn the throttle cut on. Throttle cut. So now throttle cut is on, and it allows the thing to come up. So that's what the warning does. Okay, so as you can see, FT flyer. Always check to make sure you got a good battery. All these are zeros, I said before. So in the um, function list we're going to have a servo set up and um, notice that the throttle is cut all the way down to minus 30 if I turn it off it goes to back to 129 which is just fine um, so all the travels are set to the defaults there are no sub trims and <clears throat> For reversing, throttle is normal, aileron and elevator are reversed. Now this has to do with which way you orient the servo in the airplane more than anything. Because of how I'm going to mount the servos, uh, which you'll see in a future video, these need to be reversed. Uh, you can do that on the fly, I mean do that <laughs> before you fly, not on the fly, but before you fly. If they're in the wrong direction you can switch them easily. So those are the only three channels that matter. Okay. <clears throat> for DRN Expo, I have ailerons set for low rates, 70 and 20% Expo. Mid rates. Mid rates for 85, high rates, rates. for 120% Expo. Low and those are the defaults I usually use. And then so the elevator is set to the same values, 70, 85, and 90. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, 70, 85, and 100 with 20% expo. And the rudder is the same thing 70, 85, and 90, 20% expo. Okay. That's just the default I use uh, when I set up an airplane. So throttle cut is assigned to switch F. And um, on the upper left side of the transmitter, Personal preference, that's where I like it. Um, and you can see again, this indicator is moving that it's going to be cut, uh, normal because it's white, and the other two are going to be cut. throttle cut in either the one or two position. Okay, no throttle curve, mixing. Okay, so this is how you do mixing. I've got uh, mix number one says rudder mixed to aileron is on. So in detail what that means is, is that um, <clears throat> if I move the aileron, I'm going to come up here and move the aileron, you'll see the aileron channel moving back and forth. Okay. If I move the rudder, it looks like I'm going to move the rudder to the right. Okay. It shows the rudder going that way but you see the aileron going this way okay and that's uh just the way that works okay uh so if i move the rudder to the right i will turn to the right and if you watch if i move both at the same time if i move the aileron first all the way over and then move the rudder the rudder goes uh, makes the aileron go even further so it's additive that's why I only mix to the 75%. You could actually mix it a little less if you want. <clears throat> so that's how you mix the rudder to the aileron so that if you move the rudder, the aileron uh, servo, which is attached to the rudder, <laughs> is moving. <laughs> why do I do that? Because you learn to fly a certain way. You learn to fly, if you want to turn right, you move the aileron to the right. And... Um, if you're on the ground and you want to turn right, you move the rudder to the right. 
So um, uh, it just makes my life saner. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So that's the mixing. You uh, would do a range test before you uh, go fly. The timer is set up as a countdown timer for seven minutes. And the timer won't start until the 25% throttle is reached. One time active means if you pull the throttle back to idle, the timer keeps starting. If it's inhibited, then the timer will actually stop each time you pull the throttle back to zero. Not, don't, I don't like that. So I got voice and tone activations there. It's a personal preference. If you want to hear the voice, if you just like the tones, I like it to tell me when I run out. Um, when the expiration occurs and every minute it, uh, that it counts down or up. Okay. Uh, no telemetry is needed. Custom voice setup is the normal and throttle cut. Throttle cut. Throttle cut. Normal mode. And what that looks like is because it's a th the switch F on the on this radio is a three position switch. Um, the throttle cut is uh, set for positions one and two and normal for um, uh, position zero. Okay, no system settings, monitor, again you can watch the monitor and see that if I move the uh, aileron stick over I only get 70 percent because I'm in low rates, Mid -rates. 85 High and 100 percent so rate. you can see that High the rate. rates are uh, the um, uh, dual rates are actually working and the same for all the other channels. Monitors are nice to, to use to verify your programming is correct. And that's it for programming. Um, thank you for watching and this is the last in the series of the uh, PowerPod uh, and now we'll go on to uh, showing you how to finish the entire airplane by doing the wings. Um, so uh, this power pod again obviously is going to be used for multiple uh, aircraft. Uh, you can use it for multiple aircraft and so in future videos uh, for swappable airplanes you'll see the same set of power pod um, set up uh, but obviously the wings will be different. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos.